morning, my dear students at home. Welcome once again to online teaching from St. Charles College, Odisha. This is Business Studies for JS2. I'm your Business Studies teacher, Mrs. Anazo Gloria. The topic for today's lesson is Memorandum. Before we go into the main lesson, let us first look at the objectives of the lesson. You students, by the end of this lesson, they expected to define memorandum, list the features of a memorandum, state the differences between a letter and a memorandum, and then prepare a sample memo. The lesson proper, what is memorandum? The word memorandum is generally called memo. It's a written passage or correspondence exchanged by people who work in the same organization. It can be from one department to another department, but it's usually from a higher or senior officer to a lower or junior officer. For example, the principal can send a memo to all heads of departments or, or to all teachers. A memo can be short or long depending on the passage or the, depending on the message that is involved in that memo. Then unlike letters, the memo does not have the following features of a letter. Number one, in memo there is no inside name and address because it's a a letter or a message written that within the organization it doesn't go out number two it doesn't have salutation like dear sir dear madam then another one is it doesn't have a complimentary clause like yours faithfully yours sincerely or something like that then the signature of the sender is optional most times it carries initial of the sender then the futures of a memo. The futures here means what you are expected to see there. A memorandum is expected to highlight the following parts. From, you have from, which is the originator or the sender of the message. To, there is, and you enter the intended recipient of the message. The date shows when the document was issued or sent. Reference, that is the previous information before that text. Then subject, the theme or the topic of the message. Then you now have the body, which is the passage itself. And then at the end, the person sending it will indicate his initial or if possible, sign his uh, signature. Then designs or layout of a memo. So how do you type it if you are giving a memo to type? Most organizations in recent times use pre-printed memo forms or sheets that already contains the key parts of the memo, which the officer can easily fill it. Fill it or, uh, or write inside it. It can be written by hand, but the layout depends upon the style adopted by the organization. So a memo may be typed in blocked or indented style. Now the sample you are seeing now on your screen, this is a memo typed in blocked style. You can see the keyword memorandum beginning from the left margin from you have to you enter the name of the person the memo is being sent to from you enter the person sender then date and then subject here means the subject matter the main point to be discussed then you have the lines all the lines beginning from the left margin that to show the block style and then the signature then the next style is in the memo typed in indented style. So this one, you can see the word memorandum being centered at the center. From and reference begins from the right hand margin. Y to and date also begins from the same margin and ends at the, uh, from and reference begins at the left hand margin. 
Y2 and date begins at a place close to the right hand margin and they end at the right hand uh, margin. Then the subject matter is centered. Also centered, while the first line of the passage goes in by five or six spaces, just like the paragraphing we studied last. Then the signature or the initial of the person comes at the right hand side. This is where we will end today's lesson on memorandum. Remember, the memorandum is normally called memo. These days, when you go to occasions, sometimes you will be given a memo form or a memo booklet. So those ones you see where they write from to date, they are all samples of a memo and which can be used to write short letters and circulate within the organization. So, thank you very much for listening. Continue to obey your parents and stay safe till we meet next time. Goodbye.